What's going on, everybody's here? Welcome back to some more Subnautica Below Zero. So, the last episode, we, well, we ventured down and we got the C, the prawn suit docking module, the sea truck docking module for the prawn suit. So, today, we are going to go ahead and we are going to venture a little bit deeper because we can't, we need, I need nickel in order to get any more depth modules. We need some more nickel, so we can't really do that. Now, uh, comments were saying sea truck storage and the docking module um there was a lot of comments saying sleeper module however there's also a lot of comments saying that sleeper sleeper module does not make a difference whether uh whether or not so yes yeah, so we're gonna go with the sea truck the storage and the docking module these are gonna be our three items for the sea truck so uh let's go ahead let's clear out some stuff let's get some things going hopefully you guys enjoy if you do make sure you leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more as always all right, let's get all this stuff out of here. Do, 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 do. Uh, why do we, what do we, what are those? Were those Chinese potatoes? Are those Chinese potatoes? Rotten Chinese potatoes. I'm pretty sure we already had those. Uh, let's go ahead and drop those two. We don't need them. You know what's so funny? It's like, look at how teeny tiny they look compared to like, like, like that. Those take up four slots. The kyanite only takes up one. I don't know. <gasps> Who made these decisions? I need answers. All right, so let's grab stuff out of here i think that's everything yes that's everything okay cool so let's go ahead and let's head out of here let's drop this stuff off into our inventories we should be set on food and water with the salad but we'll go ahead and make more uh vital signs stabilizing we'll go ahead and make more just to make our just to top ourselves off so uh yeah awesome awesome okay so i'm excited but i'm also scared to go and check out this uh this this deeper place because like <laughs> well you know how you saw how the last episode went it, it did not go as uh as amazing as we thought it would um wait what prawn suit death module mark one can we not make the mark two? Oh, there's the reclaimed water Ooh. that even that looks right oh my god that bag oh that looks like a potty bag <laughs> Sea truck death module mark two prawn suit death module yeah okay so we need nickel all right so our goal of this episode is to get some nickel so we can get some upgrades so we can get some suits uh you know all that fun stuff uh we got a bunch of those let's go and grab a bunch of leaves all right let's grab some plants too and replant this bad boy up okay i think we're good to go let's roll let's do it let's make it happen uh we're probably gonna regret some of this but you know what maybe not maybe we won't oh, okay we're going into the deep area so actually now that i think about it hello thanks you know actually now that i'm thinking about it i wonder if nickel is in the other area i'm almost positive nickel was down where we were however there is another area Okay, what do we have for as far as pings go? Architect body cash. Architect artifact. PK8. Body cash. Last known position. Hmm. You know, let's do a little bit of exploration here. Because, well, it might just be too deep for now. I don't know. Let's go. Let's let's just let's keep let's make our way over this way. We'll we'll figure it out once we get over here. <laughs> okay, so we're heading out over here. Uh towards the pilot last known location. However. Okay, so here's a sunken ship. And we should be next to the lilies. The floating lily pads. We should be within this, that area roughly. And the reason is because there's a huge landmass. There's a huge chunk floating up. And we can go underneath of it. And when you go underneath of it, it goes pretty deep. And we have not been there at all yet. But I don't know how deep it is. I don't even know if we're capable. I don't know if it's, we're even able to go down there. Um, oh yeah, look at these guys. Bunch of bunch of real real winners here. They're like little leviathans. They're not even like full size leviathans. They're just like little tiny baby ones. They're just so cute. <laughs> I don't think they would agree with me. Okay, so yeah, we're getting closer. This area. So yeah, we have this lily pads area, right? And there's a giant piece of landmass. It's going to be floating. 
and we can go down there. However, there is, spoiler alert, there is a body piece down there, and we haven't got that notification yet. However, it could be because we haven't explored it yet, so let's kind of go take a peek. I'm just wondering if maybe there was, uh, maybe there was, um, wait a second. Architect body cache? Oh my gosh, you know what? I bet you this is the one we're supposed to be going to anyways. Uh, is this the giant floating, floating landmass? Yes, it is. Wait, wait. Yep, it sure is. And, oh my gosh. Okay, well, hold on a second. What's in here? Why is there, uh, why is there little beacons and stuff? <gasps> oh! Well, hello there. I completely forgot about this little base place. Let's go check this out, shall we? Let's do some scanny. Uh, see, this place looks all nice and new. Omega. Outpost Omega. Antenna plant. Uh, radiant sieve coral. There's nothing useful about them. Oh, what's this? Oh, are these the swim charge fins? Oh my gosh. New blueprint synthesized. That's a huge win. Omega Lab. Oh, a bulkhead? We haven't had a bulkhead yet this entire time. Okay. Medical fabricator. We apparently don't have that. Oh, a vending machine! New blueprint synthesized. Okay. Nothing there, nothing here. New uh, Dr. Daniel Valentine. Subnautica mug. I want a Subnautica mug. That's cool. Uh, Daniel's bed. Oh, we gotta scan all the things while we're here. New blueprint synthesized. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, PDA. I challenged your spy pangling to a foot race earlier. Oh. Because you got tired of losing to me? Ouch. <laughs> what if I've been letting you win so I could see you smile? Cute. But I don't believe it. There are easier ways to make someone smile. Easier than losing a foot race? Oh, I think you're a woman with many talents. What are you implying? The artwork that appeared in my lab the other day. Oh, that. A study in Parhelion Red. I assume you had something to do with that. That depends. Do you like it? It's beautiful. Like the person who gave it to me. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were flirting with me. Do you know better? I don't know what I know anymore. Not when you're looking at me like that. All right, all right. Everybody just calm down. Hold on, we had a new one. Uh, was it this one? Oh, hey, Parvin. Can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? I don't know. Lil said she'd one. send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. You should ask her to show you some of her findings. It's pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. The scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. Okay. That's not the guy I was looking for. A few updates. What is this? Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need this you all to get behind. Just sounds the Spy Pangling oh. Project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work, and I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. 
So I do not like that guy whatsoever. Like he just sounds like just the worst type of person, you know? Uh oh, multi-purpose room glass dome. What? I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Uh gosh, we got so many PDAs. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact, perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, what? and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Oh. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius. Oh, so Sam could have blown this place up. <gasps> Would she? Maybe? We've studied the first corral bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled environment, resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Think of the possibilities. Life-saving treatments, genetic research. It could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study, using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original pustules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. Interesting. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So this place was blown up. So this is like a medium room. You see that? But I can't I can't scan this room. Okay. Wait, no? Yes. No. Okay. Uh very cool. Very cool. But they're studying the Kahar bacteria, which is not good because we've already been down that road. We know what it does. It kills everything. It's horrible, terrible, awful disaster. It's not good. It's bad stuff. But we don't know that because we're not the same person that was here that had to make the cure for it. So, okay. So there's that. Anything else around here? I don't really see anything. This, uh, this base was super cool and very, uh, very informative. Oh, we still have some more, uh... Saw some more stuff. Ben's art. Uh, uh, Danny's not here. Okay. I'm afraid. Uh, that's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. <sighs> I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. You came within range of data that might help with the construction of a new storage medium. Oh. You must continue to investigate. Okay. Uh, you ruined my, my thing, though. Uh, uh, Danny's not here, I'm okay. afraid. That's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. <sighs> I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. A body component is near. All right, you know what? Maybe we're not gonna listen to anything until we find this. All right, so this area right here, I'm a little scared because I've not seen anything uh, that wants to kill us down here huh, yet. <laughs> a flowering spore. Looks like it has like stuff inside of it. We'll take one with us. Um, oh, wait, we get benzene from that? <gasps> oh okay well we need a few more of those then don't we <laughs> for sure what room do those take up are those huge oh no they're teeny tiny oh benzene heck yeah anytime we get something with a new material we gotta grab a bunch of it while we can all right that's good enough for now uh we're actually gonna hop into the prawn suit yeah we're gonna hop in the prawn suit now and we will uh you know, I, I thought there was a way to enter the prawn suit from in here. I guess not. Uh, into well, prawn suit. Thank you. All right, so let's go and then let's explore. Now, there are a couple things here. Crush depth now 400 meters. Oh, shoot. Uh. Uh. 
Uh oh. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. How damage did you get? Oh, I was only at 83%. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Whew! That could have been bad. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's uh let's grab everything out of here. Ah, oh, I should have grabbed everything out of here before you even left. No, now my whole inventory in here is gonna be completely full of bronze suit stuff. Oh well. You know, I can't say I am glad that I at least brought uh <laughs> The storage with me because <laughs> otherwise this would have all been in my pockets okay all right let's roll you know i gotta say this this ladder getting out of here that's really uh you have to do like climb up and then monkey bar and then open this and then climb out at the same time like it's yeah i would just skip that part too that's kind of hard oh oh there are things to get here that i want to eat us now okay all right let's do this let's explore now, I have an idea for the most part where we need to go. Where is body part? It's down, right? Body cash. Okay. Let's roll. Let's do this. If we can find nickel here too, that would be like a huge win. Drill, copper. No, thank you. Silver outcrop. Oh, we're falling the right way, because look at there's a, uh, a a little plinth right there. I don't know if there's nickel down. Oh, that looks like nickel. Oh my gosh. We found nickel. It was down here. And I was just coming down here because I was like, oh, you know what? We haven't even been down here at all. We need to go over here. Oh my gosh. We are actually going to the right place. That's so funny. A uh, nickel deposit would be sick, though, if we could find that. Wow, I can, like, I'm draining a lot of water. Look at this. That's disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. It's like a colostomy bag. Ugh, sorry. <laughs> you know, this prawn suit moves around so nice now. Good work. Oh, it, it just like it like it actually goes from place to place super nice I'm looking for more uh, more stuff. I know exactly where we're going But I'm looking for more uh, More nickel You know, it's funny. There's an air bubbly thing here almost like you could come here without a prawn suit Interesting, you know, it's funny is that thing doesn't even try to attack me I don't think I can kill anything with that. No. Okay, let's move on. There's another little plinth. Uh, yeah, we have to go this way. Looking for more nickel. I don't think we need any uranite. Do we need any uranite? I guess we'll grab a couple. Young cotton and an anemone. Okay. We'll grab those. There's another piece of uh. Piece of nickel and oh, there is a shark down here. What's up, dude? Also, you know, I was wondering if anything was ever gonna come down here because, like, it was such a pretty area, and I was like, man, this is like way too pretty and not deadly enough, you know? What's up, dude? You wanna come attack me? I'll drill your face. Yeah, I'll drill your face. My battery's dead? Wait, does he have a shock attack? Wait, 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 wait. Does that thing have a shock attack on it? Oh, his tentacles under the bottom do. Interesting. Oh, you're kind of cool. I did not know that. There's so much more depth to that squid shark thing than I even realized. I'm looking for more nickel. Where are you? Can you come over here just so I can kill you and be redoing this? 
Yep. He's got a shocky shocky. Oh, wow. I'm at 58 health. We need to fix that. Right now. Okay, get back in. Okay, everything's fine. I need to start punching the shark. I just want this nickel is really all I wanted. Okay, let's see. Was there anything up in here? <gasps> oh, you know what? Is this where... Uh, okay, I think we're good. Oh, there's a squid shark nest right there. Look at there's the baby squid sharks. Let's repair this. Hold on. Let's get this fixed real fast. Gotta be good. Gotta be good. Gotta be good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go grab these baby squid shark eggs. That's what these are. Yo, creature egg. Those are squid sharks. Now, there is actually... Um, uh, some eggs down in this area that we could collect that are a little more rare. So we'll have to grab those before you leave. For sure, because like those things are super cool. Um, all right, where'd that squid shark go? Did you just dip out on us? I think you did. Looking for more nickel. Yeah. Where are you? Oh, you're up there. Oh, there's another piece of nickel right there. I need it. I need it in my life. Come here, bud. Come on. Come on, let's fight. As soon as I turn around to, to grab this piece, he's going to come after me. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm down. Okay. Shocky, shocky. Come on. All right, we're back. All right, we've gotten a decent amount of nickel. Oh, is that another piece of nickel right there? Oh, no, it was an outcrop. Okay. All right, let's continue on. Are you going to come for me again? Let's do this. I'll give you the one, two. I just want to kill it. I just want to see it be dead and floaty floaty. <laughs> He's running away every time too. Cause it's taking damage. Come on. Man. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Oh no no no. You come back here. Oh, we're, we're, we're finishing this. We're finishing this. That's right. You're done, son. You're done. I don't have to worry about nothing in here now. That's right. I'll repair my thing now. You can't fight me. Classic, classic creature versus machine. Machines only do one thing, and that's exactly what they're told. All right, so let's see. Do we have any more nickel? I probably have enough nickel now. <gasps> yep, here we go. Here's our spot. All right, uh, nickel ore. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, buddy. Here it is. Here is the first of a very, very big piece. One third, 33.33333% of what we need to do here. Okay. It's scanning time. Oh, man. Oh, buddy. Here we go. Oh, what is this? Architect component? I do believe I will take that. This area right here is beautiful, too. Oh, my gosh. There it is. Architect skeletal structure. 
able to handle heavy forces. A good frame for my new form. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a foreign architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. Wow, that kind of sucks. This guy kind of just, like, uh, died right here. I guess if there's a place to go, this is a beautiful place to go. Can we get this ornamental plant? I would like one of these. Can I have can I have one of these? No. Darn it. I really wanted one. <laughs> okay, can we scan the statue? Okay. These pools are really cool looking too. These little stands are really cool looking. I'm surprised I can't scan like all these plants. Or maybe I've already scanned them all. I doubt it. Alright, so we have officially collected the architect's uh, skeletal frame. How cool is that? But we're not done yet. Oh no. There is something else down in these uh in these depths that we must grab it. It is an egg. A rare form egg. And we must grab it. <laughs> All right, super cool. Let's head out of here. Okay, so now we gotta find this. Uh, we gotta find this egg. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure where it's at, but we're gonna look around for it. Hmm. I don't think it's down here. I'm pretty sure. It's like down around the corner. Oh, you know what? Actually, is it over here? Or did we already go over here? Did we already go over here? Did we already go into this area? I'm not exactly sure where it's at. <laughs> uh, there's a bubble deal. Oh, you know what? I do know where it's at, actually. We need to go back to where I came in at. We need to go back to where our sea truck is at. And then from there, I think I'll be able to get us to where we need to go. Oh, more nickel. Hold on, we gotta grab the nickel on the way up. Okay, so from this main room, if I remember correctly, we need to go this way, I think. Where all of the where all of these uh big flower blooms are. And then I think we go down this way. Because there's no, you see how there's no, uh, there's no like architect things this way. This leads to a dead end. I do believe so. Yes, this leads to a dead end. However, it's not without reward because right here we've got a fancy golden trivalve egg. That's what those are. I know. It's exciting. And we got two of them. All right. So we're going to take those guys back. Uh, these guys are here. Creature egg. Yep. Taking those back with us for sure. Uh, you know what? Actually, I kind of do need a little bit more ruby. I feel like we've been using that quite a bit with the... Well, man, what, what are we using it with, honestly? I don't know. Actually, hold on. How much, um, how much nickel do we have? Oh, we're actually looking pretty good. One, two, three. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Okay, okay, looks good. So let's go ahead and let's head back. I think it's time to head back, and I think it's time to make some depth modules. And of course, on the way back, we're gonna look for more nickel because, like, nickel is just one of those things that I just don't feel like we're ever gonna have enough of. All right, I think we are good. Grabbed a little bit of diamond, a little bit of ruby. We grabbed uh, some nickel. I think we're good to go. Where's my vehicular at? Am I not in the main room? I'm not in the main room. <laughs> no wonder I can't find it. I was like, where is it at? Nope, not in the main area, that's why. Sea truck over here, okay. All right, prawn suits loaded up. We are good to go. We are officially good to go heading back and we can make some depth modules. <laughs> we can make some new depth modules. 
I'm so excited about this. You know, that's a cool looking plant right there. I don't know why I just thought of this. But like this one plant was just right out here in the middle all by itself. What is it? Like it's, you see how like it's very distinctly different. Are there other plants like that? Interesting, that's really weird. So I'm just kind of looking around the area. Uh, <laughs> I might be looking into, the, into this way too much. I probably am, and it's probably nothing. But I don't see anything else like that other plant. Like, this one looked different. It looks different. It looks completely different. Why do you look so different? What are you? It's probably not even scandal. It's going to be purely decorative. What is it? Weird. I don't know why that just like it, it it caught my interest. Like it looks like it's like a like a marker and it almost looks like it might be like a sword kind of thing, but then it's got like a little rib cage kind of, I don't know. I'm sorry. I <laughs> it's a stupid plant. Who cares? All right, I'm moving on. I'm sorry. And we're back at home. Feels so good to be back. All right. Let's go ahead, let's jettison our modules. And let's park this bad boy into our moon pool here. Welcome, Welcome aboard. aboard Thank you. I am so happy to be home. You have no idea. Uh, but I need to go grab some nickel. So let's grab that real quick. Um, boop, 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 boop. Okay, we'll grab those. That should be enough. We need what? I think we need plastic lingot, nickel, and kyanite. Or a wiring kit. Hold on, what do we need? Okay. Sea truck, sea truck depth module mark three. Two kyanite, three nickel, plastic lingot, prawn suit depth module mark two, kyanite nickel, and prawn suit depth module mark one. Kyanite and plastic lingot is what we're needing. Okay, so I got all the ingredients. Uh, we just need the actual depth modules to upgrade. So we're going to take the depth module out of you. Mark two. That's going to go to mark three. And then take the one out of you. You're going to go to mark two. And this is as far as I know. I think this is it. I think those are the... I think that's the maximum depth modules now. I don't see mark fours on there. I think that's all she wrote. Alright, uh, Sea Truck Depth Module Mark 3. Bronze Suit Depth Module Mark 2. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I guess I could have put the one in the Sea Truck. <laughs> Alright, so Mark th Mark 2 on the Prawn Suit is going to take you to 1100 meters. And then, what's that going to do for the Sea Truck? Is it going to be 1000 meters? All right, mark three, a thousand meters. Okay, so basically this prawn suit only has a hundred meters on this. Very nice. Ooh, it feels good to get things done. It feels good to get things done. So we got mark, we got uh, some upgrades for these guys. Wonderful, wonderful. We got a thousand meters on this guy. That's pretty nice. Uh, I'd like to get the ion stuff, but we don't have that. The swim charge fins also would be super cool. Swim charge fins, we need polyethylene. Uh, wiring kit and fins. Can't remember what a polyethylene polyethylene is. Oh, it's hydrochloric acid, is it? Polyethylene is hydrochloric acid, hydrochloric acid, young cotton, cotton anemone, and salt deposit. Ooh, do we have exterior grow beds? Uh, hold on. Let's grab some titanium real quick. Can we build some exterior grow beds? I'd like to do that. Because I have those anemones, 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 and I'd like to grow some. The grow bed lets you grow plants and vegetables, providing flavorful options for evading scurvy. All right, so this one's gonna hang off a little bit, but uh. 
I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. All right, so let's see. Do I even have anything to plant in here? Mm, no, okay, but I have stuff in... Did I grab it in the prawn suit? I definitely picked some. Uh, yeah! Okay, cool. So we got those. I need to get those planted. Actually, I probably have to cut them to get seeds. So it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like these replaced, like the deep shrooms were replaced by these. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and scan it real quick. And then we'll, we'll chop them up and make delicious little seeds out of them. Perfect. Whoa, hello. There. All right, so we got those planted. Uh, is there any other stuff that we need to plant? I don't think so. Oh, pollen things. I don't think we can plant those. I'm pretty sure those are strictly for... Wait, can I not get in? Can't get in from that side? Are you kidding me? Enter sea truck. Uh, let's see. Can I do anything with these? Spore using advanced material protection. Uh, you know what? Let's take all these out of here. Actually, I probably should take everything out of here, to be completely honest. I can't leave that way. Let's see if I can plant those. I don't think I can. Because those, those are, like, from those huge flowers. No. Okay. So we're just going to have to keep those in our inventory. That's fine. That's fine. Let's keep them in one that they'll all fit in. Perfect. What were these used to make? Those were used to make something. A chemical something. Benzene. That's right. Oil and solvent applications. That's weird. Oil and solvent applications. Usually solvent breaks down oils and oils don't agree with solvent. I don't know. I could be wrong. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So polyanalyze, so we need three of those anemones. And then our swim charge fins will be online. Those are going to be super nice. I can't wait for swim charge fins. Wirelessly charge your held tools while you swim. Mm. You just can't ask for anything better than that. All right, I think we are good. I think we got everything set up. We got a lot of stuff done. We got some things gathered. We got some things unlocked. We got new death modules. We're good to go. But that's going to end this episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more next episode, more exploration, more things, more stuff. You know how it is with Subnautica Below Zero. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for coming out. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, everybody.